Hello, my name is Jim Meltzer and I'm with Allen Dust Business Interiors located here in Los Angeles, California. Today I want to take you on a walkthrough of a virtual reality office space that I created to show off one of our leading manufacturers that we work with called OFS and to talk about the office space and how if it's evolving and it's changing and to give you some ideas what can we do inside an office space. Um, but before we get started, down here in the bottom left hand corner, um, this is the way to move through our virtual reality. If we click on our left arrow button, this will move us back a scene. Click on our right arrow, this will move us forward. Click on the little home here icon, this will always take us home, which is this position right here that we see on the screen. And if we click on this little icon, this is our map, so you can overall see our whole office space, you can click on these red icons and you can jump around through our virtual reality. So it makes it real easy. So let's get started. What did we do within this office space? So as you can see, this is our front entrance. We have our reception desk. We have a very inviting reception area for clients to come in, sit down, take a look at, um, relax, come in and see what's going on. Have a monitor mounted up on the wall. That could be running commercials, it could be running information about your company or the services that you offer. And here's one little tidbit. Throughout the whole virtual reality, there's these little annotations throughout the whole space. Click on them, read a little bit about it, and then you can also click on these links and it will take you out to our website to show you even more information about the various products you're seeing throughout this whole space. So we're going to right click on our arrow and go over to our net space. So the concept between this area or in this area is it's an advertising area. It's a creative department of some sort. So we have workstations in here. You can see it's very inviting, very uh, open, very fresh looking. All the desks in here are height adjustable in the workstations. We have private offices all along this wall very clean, very simple. A little bit of a formal conference room to gather. Um, here we have a glass conference room table with conference room chairs. It's an all mesh chair called the Pret. And here's just a close-up view of another workstation. So here we have two workstations here. And this workstation is called the STAT series. It's a very clean, very modular line of furniture. This is kind of our go-to line when someone's looking for modular, uh, kind of open, kind of that resumercial feel. Um, it's great for small spaces because of all the components that they have within it. And this particular component that we're looking at is a shared media area. So this has a television screen or a monitor mounted up here. And if I spin around here, you can see that we have two more workstations. These two employees could all come over here, gather and share their screen and talk about what they need to, and then easily roll back to their desk and continue working on whatever the project is for this. So this is something about collaborative spacing of how do you integrate it into your office space and it's not for everybody it's not for every department but this is just one concept of how can that be done we'll take another step forward here in our scene here we have a lounge area not every area needs to have a desk or workstations or anything of that nature casual areas uh, negative space no furniture those are good spaces as well in this case, we have a lounge area, so basically employees can come over here, relax, uh, the little units, this is called the Haya, it's quiet, so then that way they can come in here and sit down and just get away for a few moments. And here we'll take a close-up view of it. So this is the Haya made by OFS, and inside here the employee can sit down, the tablet arm can spin around, they can put their laptop, iPad, phone, sit here, do some work for five or ten minutes we have a lamp inside and this little unit this surround helps dampen all the noise so they don't hear all the other conversations that's happening inside the office space or hearing music playing or anything of that it really just kind of quiets it down so you can concentrate maybe on a phone call maybe on a project that you need to do 
And the same idea with this unit, except this is just a little bit larger. It's designed then for two people to have a conversation. It's done in a bar height, so just a different elevation so everything's not at the same level throughout the office. We have little power modules atop, again, to charge up our electronic devices uh, throughout the day. Our private offices. It's the Stat Series. This is all the same furniture in this space. So because it's all by the same manufacturer and same series, it's got the same cohesive look. It also too could have the same colors if we want to. In this case, we didn't. We got two different colors. But offices are becoming more digital. You don't need as much stuff anymore. So they're becoming kind of pretty minimal, becoming a little bit smaller in size. We just don't need as much storage and need as much stuff anymore. And here we can just take a view back of where we just walked from. So our next scene is our conference room. So this is our formal conference room. And this is where you would bring in clients. Maybe it's vendors. Maybe this is where you're doing your main presentations. Um, so this is not your employee meeting area in this situation. This is the main boardroom or the main conference space. Uh, here we have power modules on, conference, on top of the conference table. We've got our monitor or our TV back here, wall mount credenza. We have a buffet credenza because we would be serving drinks. Might be serving some food in here as well throughout the day. And just a different angle of the same room. Now keep in mind, if you look right over here, this is right off a reception area. So essentially this is one large room that's got to work together with this room as well as the whole reception area. You notice there's nice ample room to walk around. Uh, this is one of the biggest mistakes in areas where we get clients coming in all the time and they will tell us they have to have this size of table. And either the table is way too big for the room or way too small for the room. And it's the biggest mistake and people are adamant of they want this size. And then when you actually start talking through it and you start explaining why you need room or a different size, they're like, you know, I didn't think of that. I didn't think that, hey, I need room to walk behind the chairs so people can go out to the restroom, take a phone call, or just leave the conference room in general. So generally it's an oversize. Most people get the table way too big for a given room and it needs to become smaller. And that's one of the bigger mistakes. Our next area, so this is more of your executive area. These could be the executive assistants. Um, so here we have our private offices, a little bit bigger desk, they get two desk chairs, a little bit different area, but then the workstations themselves are a little bit different. Um, this is made by OFS, this is called the 11 series. This is height adjustable. So here the, the employees are getting a little bit more storage, they get a little bit more of a work area. Um, it's more executive in style. Um, based on this particular area. So keep in mind, looking at these areas, walk away with some ideas and concepts, and notice that you know we're not filling every square inch of an office space with workstations and desk and such. Here we have our executive office. So you can see how the furniture is stepping up based on the role of this person that's working here. This could be the owner of the company. This is the CEO, CFO, and so on. So this person, this is the Impulse uh, G2 series made by OFS. This desk here is height adjustable. Uh, when it goes up, it actually conceals all the mechanics of the height adjustable leg, so you don't see anything when it goes in the up position, which is really beautiful. So just a nice, clean executive office. Here's another, just another type of casual lounge area um, for anyone to come sit down, have a conversation, have a drink, talk about what's going on. So just get up out of your desk and move over here. Sit down and have a meeting there. Just another view of the executive office. So now you can start to see more of the space. And please, as this is a virtual reality, click and move around. Um, you did a little sneak peek of where we're going to next. 
but really take a look. Click on the annotations that's scattered throughout to really give you some ideas of uh, the services and the type of furniture that can go inside these spaces. Here's another casual type of collaboration room or a conference room, if you will. It's a bar high table, bar stools. This could be an area where it's being, your product's being designed. Maybe you're picking materials. Uh, maybe this is, um, you're picking metals for uh, your products or what you're doing, whatever. But this is more of your creative space and primarily used for the employees to come to and talk about their products. Here we have just another lounge piece, casual. Sit down five, 10 minutes, and then go back to your desk and work. Here we have another middle management office. Again, this is the Impulse G2 series made by OFS. Just a different configuration, different way of going. So we always get the biggest thing of people asking, what color, what size do these items come in? Let me tell you, this furniture comes in all different colors, all different shapes and sizes. So the best rule of thumb that I tell people is look at office furniture, look at these brochures we send you, look at websites, get ideas of what you like in a style, and then let us sit down and design your space based on your looks to see, get it to fit within the room. Now we can start picking the colors and getting things because honestly, you're never going to find the right photograph of exactly what you want and right color, the right size and shape. Here we kind of moved on. I skipped ahead a little bit. Here we have our break room. Um, here in OFS, we can do all the kitchen cabinets in here and the countertops. We've got bar height tables. We've got banquette tables. This is also to a multi-purpose area. Again, it's utilizing every inch of office spaces and making them functional. So this is another collaborative area. So in the rest of the day when you're not having lunch, this could be where employees come over, have a casual meeting. Um, it could maybe bringing vendors over. It could be having some other employees or some other outside sources coming in. It's not very formal, but we just need a space to sit down and talk. This is that other area as well. Now we're moving into the back of our offices. So again, more of a formal conference room area. Here we have additional workstations. Here we have some biophilia, fancy word for plants uh, that we're bringing into our area. So we can do planters throughout your office space. All the workstations here, still that same series, the stat series. This is all height adjustable. More private offices along the right side and along our left side here. Here we have a close up view of those workstations. Very nice ample room to work on. Here we have a private office, two guest chairs. We got our task chair in here. And again, please feel free to click on these annotations to find out more information about each of these products. And then we're going to go here into the back area. So this back area is set up uh, in this situation as a training room. So we're set up as a schoolroom style. We have modular training tables. All the tables are on wheels. We have training room chairs that are on wheels as well. So we could fold up all the tables, fold up our chairs and get them out of the way and use this room for some other purpose if we want to. Or we can even rearrange these tables in another form if we want. All along this wall, we have lockers for storage because maybe these training people are coming from outside of our city, maybe out of state, they need to store some of their belongings. We have lecterns in the front or podiums. We have glass marker boards up here in the front of the room. And then we have two computer screens up here as well for your presentation. Again, you can see our private offices and here we're able to look back into our office space. So the idea between the idea in this virtual reality is to show you some general ideas of what can we do with your given space. Uh, contact us, let us know what you're looking for, what feel you want, and let us design your next office space. Again, my name is Jim Meltzer with Allen Desk Business Interiors here in Los Angeles, California. 
check out our website at www.allendesk.com or reach out to us. Our phone number is area code 323-655-6655.